Howdy everyone. I'm back at it again. It's a beautiful September day here in Minnesota. It's nice and calm out here. We've got overcast skies. Should be perfect conditions for some topwater action. And I think I'm gonna toss the duck lure around out here again today. Now I tried one of these Savage Gear 3D ducks last year. I'm sure a few of you guys saw the video fishing a duck lure for river monsters in which I was tossing one of these guys for Northern Pike. I hooked into a few really nice ones on that trip. Well, I'm after something different out here today. I'm hoping to hook into some lake lunkers, some big largemouth bass. I know this lake holds some giants. There should be plenty of fish out here, plenty big enough to try to eat that duck lure. So we'll toss them around out here today and see if we can hook into a few big ones. I'll give you guys a close up look at that lure before we toss them out there. So as you can see here, I did add the hook extender for that rear treble to bring it back a little bit farther. I believe Savage Gear designed these lures for pike and muskie. So hopefully bringing that hook back will increase our chances of hooking up with a bass if one decides to hit that lure. I don't see any reason why we shouldn't be able to hook into them with that duck though. Especially if we find a five or six pounder out here today. So I'm down here at kind of the shallow end of the lake. I'll probably work my way down that way to the deep end. It's a little bit windy down there as I launched, but that wind is supposed to die down to pretty much nothing throughout the day. I think this lure should actually work pretty well out here. There's not a whole lot of bass on this lake, but the ones you do find are pretty good size, so really the name of the game out here is covering water. And as you can see with that lure, he's got those two feet that spin around. It's almost like a double whopper plopper, so I mean, you can just burn that thing around and make a bunch of commotion and really irritate those fish into coming up and hitting it. I had one swipe at it there. I think that was just a little fish though. A little baby bass. Yeah, we'll give that guy some pauses too. I'm not just gonna steady retrieve it all day. I'll vary it a little bit, but. A lot of times I'll get people saying, you know, you're fishing lures way too fast or whatnot. Is anyone chasing that still? I had one. Anyways, as I was saying, a lot of times I'll have people comment on my videos, you know, I'm proficient the lures way too fast, you need to pause it more. Well, I do actually vary my retrieve throughout the day, but the casts I get caught on are the ones that I straight retrieve it, so <laughs> that's why sometimes in the video that's all you see me doing. First fish of the day is a little pike. I already knew that the pike liked that duck lure. Little pike. Not really what I'm after, but hey, it's always nice to get rid of the skunk early. Get that lure untangled. Yeah, that only took, I don't know, five or six casts. Gonna check that line. I don't think he got it with his teeth at all, but it's always a good idea to check after catching a pike. All right, score one for the duck lure. I threw that lure pretty much right into that fish's mouth there, I think. <laughs> oh, it is a bass. Ooh, it's a big one. <laughs> Jeez, that was crazy. Talk about a reaction strike. How about that? First bass of the day on that duck lure. 
Jeez, I don't even know if that thing hit the water. I think he might have jumped up and grabbed that thing out of midair. Crazy. <laughs> Well, heck yeah, we're on the board with bass. That's a quality one right there. I'm not gonna weigh him, but we'll get a quick length measurement on that fish. It's about 19 inches. Heck yeah. That fish was up here pretty shallow, right along the edge of these lily pads. Maybe I've been fishing a little bit too deep today. It's for the first hour or so I've been out here. Ooh, what was that? Something went splash over there. So I'm fishing that duck lure on my six foot six medium heavy power fast action St. Croix Bass X rod, Shimano SLX DC reel. And I'm fishing them on 30 pound braid today. Figured I'd go with that heavier line. There's a lot of weeds on this lake those bass like to dive down into. So I'll give me a little bit more power to pull them up out of those weeds. Nice lily pads up here. We might be able to find something along the edge of these. Try one out deep. Give him a little pause out there. So I think for the most part, I'm gonna be fishing that lure with a steady retrieve today. As you saw from that bass that I just caught, I think they're gonna be pretty aggressive. Here's another one, another good one. Oh yeah, they are liking that duck lure. That's a big fish. Get up here, get in my net. Wow. Jeez, look at that bass. Absolutely crushed that duck lure. Second like nice big bass of the day. It's only been about 10 minutes since I caught that last one too, so. Awesome fish. I might actually grab a weight on that one. I'll toss him down here in the net for just a minute. I've got my scale on zero. Let's toss that fish on there and see what he weighs. I'm gonna guess about four pounds. Yeah, that guy went a little bit nuts when I tossed him back in the net. Started splashing me, pretty much soaked my pants, but that's all right. Press hold right there. He is. Four pounds, six ounces. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Quality fish, nice, thick looking largy. We'll let him swim and see if we can find another. sun peeking through for about a minute. Oh man, I might have to get out the sunblock.
Oh no. That was a big bass right there, you guys. Oh, that is heartbreaking. Well, I missed one on the duck now. That's still not a bad hookup ratio though. Had four strikes today, hooked into three of those fish. Well, it's been about an hour since I caught those two bass. I got those two maybe 10, 15 minutes apart. I thought maybe I figured out the pattern, but I've been trying to replicate it since then and haven't really had any luck. Both those fish were in a little bit shallower water. The one was kind of right along the edge of the lily pads. So I've been trying to cover that zone and nothing else to show for it. There are a whole bunch of bluegill up here though. I mean, those bass have got to be around here somewhere. Nice bass. Come on up here. All right. Fish number three on the duck lure. Yeah, they've all been up pretty shallow today. Wow, look at that. Quality fish. About the same size as that last one. We're gonna toss him on the scale. I'll let him just chill in there for a second. Hey, try not to splash me though. All right, scale is zeroed out. Hey. <laughs> of course he's got a free note on me. Come here, bud. Toss that guy on my scale. He is four pounds, one ounce. Yeah, that's a nice fish. I mean, four pound average out here today. That is pretty darn good for up here in Minnesota. Come here, Mr. Ducky. Big bass. They are liking that duck lure. All right, you guys, I think that's gonna be about it for today. It's time for me to head back over here to the launch, get my gear loaded up and hit the road. It's been a great day of fishing out here though. Beautiful day to be out here in the kayak. And we hooked into three real nice largemouth bass with that duck lure, plus one bonus pike. But that thing got the job done out here today. Hookup ratio is all right. I hooked into four out of five fish that hit that duck. So yeah, it seemed to work pretty well. I had a lot of fun fishing it. I hope you guys enjoyed the day out here on the water with me. Thanks for coming along with me again. I'll see you next time.